Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another phenomenal tarot reading. We hope you guys are well. Yeah, let's see what we got for you guys. And we have the home card. Mm-hmm. And this means somebody feels like you are home to them. Maybe you're buying a new home though. You could. And so all the lights are on in the house. It's very welcoming, this house. There's like ivy, you know, around the door kind of, and all these flowers are there and very beautiful and very cozy. It's in the woods. So, you know, but let's see what else we have home. Mm -hmm. We have trust and uh, she's really trusting it because she's standing over the ocean, right? She could jump off the cliff if she didn't trust it, right? And uh, <laughs> she's really trusting it. She's here at the ocean. And then we have travel and she's pregnant. That's uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Somebody's traveling so they can have a new beginning. That's really what that is. Somebody might be far away from you, Capricorn. It's possible you could be traveling pregnant yourself. You could, right? Uh, but it looks like somebody feels like you're home to them and they're trusting this. And they could be traveling metaphorically, like in their head kind of, but mm -hmm. it's just interesting how uh, the moon is here and she's traveling by night. She's trusting her intuition. That's what she's doing uh, in order to have a new beginning. So she's, you know, hoping to birth that baby, right? Let's see what else we have. And uh, mm -hmm. we have the quantum leap card. I used that earlier. I found it earlier. And we have... Uh, they call this, I'm going to call it the sacrifice and, uh, they call it something else that I don't really like the name of that card, name of it. I don't, but she throws the baby into the fire and, uh, yeah, this is just, you know, uh, depicting nobody's really doing that here. I remember one time somebody made a comment like that. I'm like, okay, uh, it's not really happening here. You guys No. And, uh, but she's, this means that somebody's rejecting something for another new beginning because here he is uh the quantum leaper and you know this is like the fool and he's changing his paradigm and he wants to get from one place to another it's a complete change and uh there's a lot of kind of struggle to get there because he could fall to his death right here but instead he's trusting it over here let's see what else follow the leader and yeah this is in the upright and we have follow the leader and an unexpected visitor somebody's coming to see you capricorn and they have a big message to tell you that they let something go here they threw something in the fire they're like okay yeah and so this person's coming unexpectedly and here's a little bunny rabbit here so they're coming to tell you they want to like grow things with you or something fertile something nice uh this is a big change it's a 41 it's a five it's a huge change and follow the leader is so you know all these birds and they're all going up with the fairy to you know to the tree here to the clock on the tree follow the leader maybe somebody's from the past uh but you know the clock is there usually to say it's time it's time to do this and uh mm -hmm, this is for stability it's a 40 yeah, the number four. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have, Capricorn. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. If you'd like your own psychic reading, you may always get one, Capricorn. I'm a silver grad. And if you don't know somebody, you don't trust them, uh, you know, you just met them, things like that, uh, definitely you should get one. And we do a tarot spread at the end. So the tarot is, you know, unique insight unto itself. Yes, it is. And then, uh, you know, Mystic Sense has a free five-minute psychic reading for you. If you'd like one of those, click on their link. And also, I do tarot readings and interpreting charts, natal charts. And those are so empowering. Yes, they are. Because your natal chart is your roadmap to your full potential. Yeah, to self-realization, self-actualization. So let's see what we have, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Could be a Virgo here. Nine of Pentacles nine of swords. These are, these are completions as is judgment. So judgment is here. Mm -hmm. This is what's helping you. Somebody may want forgiveness here. They could be unexpectedly asking you for forgiveness with judgment. 
this could be, you know, what's helping you is a rebirth, but how, what's helping you here is a decision that somebody made or you're making. This woman decided to travel. She didn't just, you know, she's pregnant. She just didn't get on the boat and say, hey, let's go for a ride. No, this is a decision. And it's for change because the quantum leap is about change. We see the little Aquarian glyph here. That's change based on Uranus. It's for expansion. Here's the Jupiter glyph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a sacrifice over here, right? Where she's throwing the baby into the fire. Oh, witch, right? She's an old witch. She looks like this uh, broker I used to have. <laughs> Let's see what we have when I was selling homes. Let's see what we have, you guys. And, uh, yeah. Five of swords, seven of swords. Fives are changes, and they are challenging changes. And, uh, mm -hmm. and we have completions here. We have the nine here, the 10 here. So yeah, something definitely ends here. The 10 of cups is another completion. It just uh, completes in a very nice way. That's really what that is. Uh, it's a happily ever after. <coughs> in the heart of the matter, Capricorn sits the nine of pentacles here with the nine of swords, both completions. The first card was a nine of pentacles, I believe. And that is either somebody is gaining their independence. That's kind of how that looks here uh, because she does represent that. She also represents self-sufficiency, which is, you know, the same thing, right? Nine of swords is with it. The nine of swords is the challenge. So somebody's afraid here that they're not going to, somebody could have became single here, or they're not going to be able to do what they want with their independence, something like that. Yeah. And this quantum leap, this can be also about independence too. Like I want what's over here. I don't want what's back here. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me, you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, there's change definitely in this reading, right? Let's get a card. We're going to get the gypsy card, the Lord. Mm -hmm. And with the nine of pentacles, somebody may have money in this reading for sure. The Lord is the property owner. Yes, definitely. And we have the death card. Okay. And so we have the 10 of swords here and something does end as judgment is an ending too. Judgment is just a rebuilding or a transformation, a rebirth, right? Mm -hmm. The death card is here. Definitely. And so somebody ends something. That's what I was saying about these completions. Something Something ends because somebody trusts that you are home to them, Capricorn. Yeah, that's what the reading's about. Yeah. So let's see what else we have. With judgment, we have the priest card. Okay, so the priest card is, it can be, I really believe in this. She's kind of like the hierophant. Could be somebody who goes outside of their marriage too. It could. I mean, I know that's kind of. I don't know if it says that in the book, but it can be that. It can, and uh, mm -hmm. and so you know, this is somebody typically who really believes in this. And judgment is a rebirth. I believe in this. I believe in regenerating this. This is an awakening as well because these are both spiritual. Yeah, the priest is spiritual and so is the angel over here. This is an awakening here. Somebody had an awakening. That's what's helping you. Uh, they woke up. That's why they're taking this quantum leap of faith. This is change. This is like you, can, you may not arrive on this side unless you have changed inherently. Like in, inwardly. Exactly. Right? Spiritually. You can't. You, he can't jump this. He can't make it. He can't live this new paradigm without an awakening of sorts. No, he can't. And the page of pentacles is coming into play here. It may be the focus. We have it with the child. The page talks about a new beginning and it can talk about somebody who wants to speak to you as a messenger. Yeah, we have unexpected visitor in the reading right here. She doesn't trust whoever's at the door, Capricorn. I mean, she lives in a really rich house. So, you know, maybe when she went to the door, she's like, oh, this could be 
I don't know. Not good people, right? Let's see. Let's get another card here. And uh, we have the sweetheart card. She's reading a love letter. You have a new start right here. Coming into play, Capricorn, with somebody. She's happy to read that love letter, the sweetheart. And in the past, at the Five of Swords, this is a defeat. It is. It's a victory and a loss, but it's, a, it's really a defeat first. And then we have joyfulness. So somebody, this is like a third party, this joyfulness card. And where's that? Yeah, there could be third party energy here. There definitely could. Um, and that's, that could be being set. That is what is, or maybe sacrificed here. She throws the baby into the fire. And so now we have this page of pentacles. We'll put it back. But in the past here was a victory and a defeat. So, so they can be happy. Your person can be happy. Like I'm okay, you know, doing this, you know, kind of throwing the baby out with the bathwater, right? And, you know, but, um, I'm okay with an ending. That's all this is, right? We have the, we have the baby too. And not all this is, but I'm talking about the baby. Here's the baby here in, in the, uh, in the cradle, right? In the, I forgot what the bassinet here. And he's, you can tell this is a boy child. Yeah. You can totally tell that always cracks me up. How dare they put a boy there first? How dare they? <laughs> Who sings that song? It's a man's world. Uh, everybody, right? Let's see what else we have. We have service. And so joyfulness and service. Yeah, this is because somebody wants to really, somebody wants to be good to you here. And they want to be good to you because they think you're home. Here's that card. And they're trusting in this. This person's going to be good to you. Who sings that song? I'll be good to you. Mm-hmm. And who's that? Astrid and Simpson? I forget. Okay. Some soul song. That's really good. Uh, and so we have seven of swords and the foe. The foe's a third party. That's all she is. They took the H out and they put the F in there, Capricorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they didn't want to be X-rated here with, you know, the word ho, right? <laughs> I don't think it's spelled H-O-E, is it? I don't even know. But, you know, this is just, it's a third party. It doesn't have, nobody has to be a ho here. No, they don't. Uh, but, you know, it is a third party. And so is the enemy. And down here they call enemiga in, in Spanish, the foe, the third, the enemy to a relationship. Mm -hmm. And we have the four of pentacles. That's how you're being affected, Capricorn. That's also your advice. This person wants to hold on to you. And we also have... The servant card. Yeah, this person, uh, yeah, wants to hold on to you, like, and really do uh, be good to you. The servant is another one. Really be good to you with the service card over here. Seven of, ten of swords showing up, and we have the ten of swords with Fortuna. And these are completely opposite cards. One's bad luck and one's good luck, basically, right? The ten of swords, he's got ten swords in his back. And what this is, is this is how you're, uh, you're affecting this other person. They ended their situation. So, because they feel like you are good luck to them or they want to build with you or they want something very fortuitous, right? Like something, something really good. That's really what this is about. And we see it when the, when he takes the quantum leap, he says, what's over here is really good. This is kind of like the six of swords and this travel card can be maybe seen that way as well. Cause she's already on unsure and she came for a new beginning because her baby's her baby bump is growing she maybe she's meeting the father of her baby that's you know that's not clear here but uh and this is also in your environment an ending and a brand new beginning with fortuna and that new beginning is a celebration because that's what she's doing the unexpected visitor card showing up in the hopes and fears no not in the hopes and fears that doesn't go there my bad you guys uh, the, the never hopes the Oracle doesn't show up in the hopes and fears. No, it doesn't. Not in my readings. And we have the sun card showing up in the hopes and fears. Uh, I feel like, am I doing this in the right order? I feel like I am. Uh, mm -hmm. and so the foe is reversed. Look at that. This person wants to tell you that a third party ended or something like that. Or you're no longer, you're, you're going to be the queen here because of the service card and the servant card. You're going to be the queen or the king. 
They're going to wait on you, like be really good to you, make an effort. In fact, this page of pentacles down here with the message and the sweethearts reading the letter. See that? This person is coming to tell you that the red flag is with news, with illumination on the sun, from the sun. Uh, they're clearing things up for you and they're coming to tell you, Capricorn, that either a third party is, is, has ended or like you're no longer some type of side person. Yeah, that's really what's going on. And in the potential outcome sits the Ten of Cups. Uh, and it's very beautiful. And we'll get a card on that. Let's see what we have with the Ten of Cups. We have the Consolation card. This is forgiveness. And that's why we have judgment here. He's asking the angel, can you forgive me? I'm leaving with this other woman on this ship over here. Just kidding, right? <laughs> but the ship's out here, right? But uh, this is like this open air, uh, very cool thing that I'm sure they have in Europe. <clears throat> they had in the Dominican Republic, right? Uh, I'm sure they have it somewhere, somewhere else. This kind of open air, uh, kind of building here with these, you know, walls are down and, uh, very beautiful, right? All the, all the nice, uh, breeze coming in. But, you know, here is the angel with the laurel, uh, with the, I mean, I call it the laurel branch or maybe it's called the olive branch. I'm not sure, but. It, that's not really important exactly. The The point is he's blessing him. Here's the holy water in this kind of jar or whatever, this kind of little little lantern or you know, not lantern, that's for lights. But you guys know what I mean. The holy water's in there. For sure it is. And so he's blessing him or giving him, giving him uh, forgiveness. He's calming him down. Consolation. Let me console you. Yeah. Did you guys know the vibrators in Spanish are called consolador <laughs> I thought that was funny yeah it is okay so yeah <laughs> and now we have the surprise card yeah so this is the potential outcome this person and we have so unexpected visitor this person's coming very surprisingly Capricorn they're coming to surprise you to ask you for forgiveness it's going to be out of nowhere it's going to be like somebody you haven't seen in in ages, you're going to be going, well, I didn't think you were alive anymore. Or something like that, right? Don't say that, Capricorn. It's not nice. That's a Sagittarian thing, possibly, right? <laughs> and the Ten of Cups, this person is coming to tell you that they woke up with judgment. They had an awakening. They changed. They grew. Spiritual insight, awakening. Mm -hmm. and they might have suffered, too, with, with judgment. They could have. They could have felt really judged at one point. Uh, that maybe about what you thought about them, something like that, or they might've felt really judged here because here the baby, here she throws the baby in, into the fire and there's a, there's a victory and there's a defeat here, the five of swords, right? The death cards here, something ends here. There's too many, there's a lot of completions, 10 of swords right here. This person may be feeling like very guilty. I need forgiveness. And so they're going to ask you for forgiveness. Maybe they did all that to you, right? They could have, they could have hurt you in the past. And this 10 of cups sitting in the potential outcome, this, uh, this seals the deal here. This is the icing on the cake here. This person feels like you are not only home to them, Capricorn right here, but they're happily ever after right there. So they're coming unexpectedly. Yes, they are. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. hopefully they'll bring you a little gift or something like that. Right. We have Fortuna. Uh, this is lots of money over here. Lots of dough. Yeah. Lots of lots of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to end this reading and thank you so much, you guys. And I will, uh, I will put the, uh, Venus enters Taurus video at the top of the comments. If you didn't get a chance to see it and the horoscope is always there. The timestamps are there. And so, yeah, Venus and Taurus is huge. There's a new moon in Taurus. The sun is in Taurus. I mean, it's really Taurus season. I mean, all the way, like 800%, right? And this is about the pleasures in life and taking time to smell, to smell the coffee and things like that, smell the flowers, really. And uh, I'm kind of feeling like that myself, uh, for sure, even though yesterday I was working like a hound dog, right? But you know, like today I'm feeling that way. So <clears throat> treat yourself. It's, it's about sensual sensuality. It's about pleasures, physical pleasures and things like that. Taurus. Yeah. And belief systems. So some people could be changing or just kind of 
going toward things that they really believe in or they value. Yeah. Uh, and we see that up here with the priest too. We sure do. Thanks so much for joining me here, uh, Cap uh, Capricorn. <clears throat> I beg your pardon, you guys. And yeah, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell to get notifications. And also, uh, yeah, support me on my other channel, you guys. I would really appreciate it. It does help the channel, uh, you know. And so also, I want to, oh yeah, get your psychic reading, Capricorn. Especially during uh, Taurus and Venus. Venus and Taurus, rather, right? Thank you so much for joining me here.